Pete was saying, you know, well deserved. Congrats. I mean, just all the emotions that go into something like that, knowing that you know the Super Bowl is here and the enshrinement and all that good stuff. Yeah, man. It's it's. It, I'm honored and humbled by it. Uh, but as they say, is a team game, and you're only as good as what's around you. And I had a lot of talent around me, so uh, you know it's a huge honor. You know they did all the dirty work. Um, our defense. I'm saying our defensive line, and then I'm getting all the credit. So, but just to be in the conversation, the final 15, um, is uh, gratifying for me, uh, mainly because. I come from a small town, little kid, wasn't the fastest, strongest, or even the smartest. And I ended up in the top 15 of the best players to ever play the game. It's, it is humbling to me. You know, when I look back at that, I mean, I just wanted to play one year in the NFL. And, you know, the odds of making it to the NFL are like one-tenth of one percent. But the odds of making it to the Hall of Fame are even steeper. So that's where I get humbled, man. And, you know, I definitely wouldn't be standing here today if it wasn't for Tim Bowens, Jason Taylor, Trace Armstrong, Daryl Gardner. Keep, man, there's so many names, and mainly Jimmy Johnson, because of what he put around me. And uh, it was a great game, and, and I'm just happy to, to, you know, even get this far, even if I don't make it. How fitting would that be, you know, Jimmy gets in, you get in, all here in Miami. Oh, man. Oh, how great would that be? Hey, it would be great, and it's Super Bowl 54. Hey, it would be awesome, but there's no pressure. I, I'm uh, so grateful. If I, you know, expect me to make it, and it, it's not me, man. It's it's a team game, and, and, you know, just to get this far in the process is is, is humbling. And, and uh, so, you know, like I said, individual award. So, so much more that play a part in, in getting this far anyways. So, and, and and all my teammates and even myself, we never play for the awards, man. You play for each other, and that's what's most important. And how happy you are with the direction that the franchise is going with? I know you're still keeping contact with some of those guys. I'm sure you're watching from afar. But how much are you impressed with what they're doing in the building blocks they're building? I'm, I'm a fan, man. I'm a fan of Flores and, and, and what he's doing with the team. And, and even this year, with the talent that he, he had, I mean, for to win five games is amazing. And so, not knocking the guys that are there, it's just the turnover that they had. So many players coming in and out and that to, to really go out there and play some respectable ball was awesome to see. So you, you cheer for that. But the biggest key is I just hope Chris Greer has a great draft, man. We need it this year. I'm, like I said, I'm a huge fan fan of the Dolphins, man, for life, and so I want them to get this thing turned around. It's been a long time. As an athlete, the pinnacle obviously is getting to the Super Bowl. One of your teammates, Sam Madison, is going as a DB coach right. with the Chiefs. Just how happy you are for him, you know, just that close, putting that ring on his finger. Oh, man, I love Sam. He got him a ring with the Giants. I don't feel sorry for him, but he's got, he's doing great with their secondary there, and uh, Wes Welker's in San Francisco at the 49ers, so yeah, good luck to both of them, man. But I just want to see a good game, and they're winning by running the ball, whatever it is, and uh, Kansas City throwing the ball. So uh, I, I really like a lot of the different players, but I, I can't cheer for either. I just want to see a great game. You're a defensive guy. I could have swore you were going to go with San Francisco. <laughs> oh, they got a great defense. I love watching them play. I love George Kittle on offense as a tight end. Just how they're playing together as a team, even most are stepping up. Um, but uh, yeah, I like Kansas City because Patrick Mahomes went to Texas Tech, and I talked to him even when he was at Tech, and I was like, this kid's the most humble guy. And when he makes it to the NFL, he's going to last a long time because of that humbleness. I mean, he's an awesome, positive kid, and so you cheer for guys like that because they're good for the game. And lastly, it would be disrespectful not to talk about Alonzo Mourning and the foundation yeah. that he does each and every year, you being a part of this. He's Mr. Mind in basketball. You're like Mr. Dalton in football. Just just talk about being out here and supporting one of your guys. Well, he, he's Mr. He's a legend, you know, uh, here on and off the court. Um, you see, for over a couple decades, he's doing this great fundraising for children, and he's making an impact, and that's number one. When you see guys, because it's hard to do. You know, I just show up here, but to run a foundation and keep it intact and, and raise good money and really 
make a difference is huge, and that's why you got a lot of respect always for, for Alonzo. You look like you're still in great shape. How's the golf game, though? I mean, what was the golf game like? Well, Alonzo taught me into playing, so I, I even took, it doesn't look like it, I even took a lesson last week, because it's been like years. You know, I have kids now, three young kids, so I haven't had much time, but I still came out here to, to help the cause, and, uh, you know, but the golf game's ugly. It's very, it's definitely not Hall of Fame, I promise you that. <laughs> Appreciate it, my man. Yes,